Hey there, I'm Dean. I'm one of the founders of Payperform. Today, I'm going to give you a quick demo on how you can use Payperform to make beautiful forms fast that will make your life and your business easier. Let's get started. So when you first sign into Payperform, you're going to be presented with a whole bunch of templates. But today, I'm just going to quick start from scratch to show you just how easy it is to create a form from nothing. So creating in Payperform is kind of like writing a Word doc. So we can simply type straight onto the page. We can format that text by selecting it and choosing from the formatting options. So I'm going to make this a heading. We can add different kinds of content to our form by going to the plus menu and choosing from the available options. We can add a question, a page break, a picture, a video or HTML, or we can type forward slash to do the same thing from a slash command. So I'm going to add a text question. We've inserted a text question into our form and the first thing we have to do is add a title. So we can simply type, what is your name? Now you can see that the UI has changed a little bit. To the right over here, we now have question configuration. So because this question is focused, focus the question simply by clicking on it, uh, then the configuration for that question is available here. We can do things like change the type of question as well as whether the question is required or configure logic for when the question is displayed. The configuration options available change depending on what the type of question is. So if I want to add another question to my form, we can do that in a couple of ways. We could click out and do the same thing again. Or inside of this question, we can either click add another question or we can just press enter to insert another question. So I might go, what is your email address for the second question? And I'll change that to ask for an email. And then we might go, what is your phone number? We can simply type to search our question types as well. There are over 20 question types available. Uh, really everything is covered from scheduling appointments through to selling products uh, or starting subscriptions or, or taking a signature. Uh, there's a whole bunch of question types available. So to the left of a question, we have a few options here as well. We can duplicate a question if we want to quickly duplicate that question or we can remove a question for deleting questions. Uh, or we can reorder them. So if we grab this handle up the top and drag it, we can move our questions about very easily. To the left of the form editor, we have uh, our question navigation. So we can simply click questions to uh, focus them. So if we have a long form, then this will also scroll to the question, uh, which is a handy way of navigating about. Uh, and above the question navigation, we have theme and appearance. So if you want to modify how the form looks to the person who's going to be submitting the form, you can click theme and appearance. Uh, and we have a whole bunch of options available here. So we have, we actually offer two kinds of form experiences at paper form. We have a classic form experience, which will sort of display all of the content on the same page. You can separate uh, questions and groups of questions onto multiple pages by inserting page breaks. Uh, but we also offer a one at a time experience, which will always only ask a single question at a time and animate between them. So for say, Dean, Dean at paperform.co, for example. That's going to automatically progress to the next page. Uh, the one at a time experience is really, really great if you're running a survey or a quiz and you've got, say, a maximum of 10 to 15 questions. We find with longer forms, uh, the conversion rates often much better with a classic form experience. <coughs> now, then, of course, you can go and tweak things like the colors of the form, uh, things like the active color, whether the questions have a background shadow or not, uh, modify the fonts. You can drill down uh, into much more detail below with things like uh, modifying the fonts for specific elements on the page or adding custom style groups as well. If you're, if you're an advanced user and you know CSS, then you can also turn on CSS so that you can really take control over the entire form experience. When we're happy with how our form looks, we can click view form to view our live form that's going to load the actual form live on the screen. Uh, I'm just going to fill this out so you can see what this is like. Uh, type in a fake number for the moment. Submit and we get our default submission successful screen. Uh, I'll show you how this is configured shortly. So if we go back to the editor, so far we've, we've stayed completely in this design section of form creation, which is where we can cr control how the form looks, behaves, what questions are asked and answered. Uh, but then we also have three other tabs available. We have configure, uh, which has details, things like the title and description. If you were to share the form on social, 
and the cover image, uh, payments for setting up uh, payment gateways to take payments through your forms, analytics for connecting Google Analytics or Metapixel or third-party analytics scripts, uh, form behavior for doing things like setting up form availability if you want the form to automatically turn on and off on certain dates, uh, and that's available in there. But I'm going to jump to after submission now. So after submission is where we can figure everything that happens after somebody has clicked the submit button on the form. So we have a bunch of options available in here, things like emails. So by default, you will receive an email summary on the submission of any of your forms. You can turn that on or off, or we can set up custom emails to, be, to email just about anyone. So you could email the person who submitted the form to, conf to give them a confirmation or a receipt. Uh, success pages and redirects. So this is where we can configure the screen that they see after they submit the form. There's a default way of just changing the title and description here, but we can also build out entire pages to show people as well as use logic to show them different pages depending on how they answer the form. Uh, same thing for if we wanted to just redirect them to a, to a different URL after they submit the form, then we can just turn on that enable redirect on submission and type in the URL there. Uh, paper sign. PaperSign is another paper form product which is available, which allows you to easily send documents off to be signed. So you can easily have a form that say, as, as a new client that's onboarded and send them a contract to be signed automatically when they submit the form uh, by setting it up here in PaperSign. Custom PDFs allow you to generate a, a PDF uh, including submission results uh, and configure that however you like. It's useful if you want to build your own receipts or summaries that you'd like to send through to respondents or through to an integration. And that brings me to integrations and webhooks. So Paperform has over 30 direct integrations built in as well as support for Zapier and Make. So you can just about integrate with anything if you would like to. Uh, if you're technical, we also have webhooks available so you can build your own integrations uh, as well as a very powerful API available. Uh, setting up integrations is very, very easy. I can simply click Google Sheets, for example, and add a row to a sheet. I've already got an account connected here. We can choose a sheet. So I'm gonna choose this example sheet. Choose the worksheet we would like to add rows to. Uh, and then we can map uh, the columns from the Google Sheet. So if I show you the sheet over here, we have example column, some other columns, submission ID and submitted at. Uh, and then we have can use this plus icon to just insert answers using what we call answer piping. So I might put the name in, the email address, uh, the submission ID, and when it was submitted. Uh, and when we're happy with that, we can click send test, and that's going to send the last submission record across to the sheet. You could then also configure logic. So if you only wanted to add a row to the sheet sometimes, then we can turn on logic and configure it that way. Uh, but I'm going to click finish setup for now. All right. Now that that's configured and turned on, every time this form is submitted, a new row will be added to this to that sheet. When we're happy with our form and we'd like to get it out there, we can share that form by going to the share tab and just copying and pasting the URL and sending it in an email or sharing it to Facebook or Twitter. Uh, you can also generate a QR code if you would like to print out and have that form available via a QR code uh, just by clicking the QR code button here. Uh, submission results are available under the results tab. My first submission record has come through here. Uh, and we have our embed codes available here. So if you'd like to embed this form on your website, uh, either inline or as a pop-up or to take over the entire page, we have different em embed codes available here as well as documentation on how to do that. So that's it. That's a really quick overview on how you can create a form very quickly with paper form. There's obviously a bunch more functionality available. Uh, so if you ever get stuck or you're curious if something's possible and you don't know, I highly recommend talking to our support crew down here. They're available. They're experts. They're just waiting for you to talk to them. Uh, they would love to help you uh, set up paper form, help you integrate with other services and use more advanced functionality like our calculations, our scoring, uh, and logic. They're really amazing at what they do. Cannot recommend you talking to them more. Uh, they're available for everybody. Doesn't matter what plan you sign up to. Doesn't matter what if you're on trial or not. Talk to them. They'd love to hear from you. Uh, so that's it. Thanks for watching. I really hope this has been helpful and uh, happy form making.